Praveen Gordhan, a former minister, passed away at the age of 74. According to Gordon's family, he died quietly in the early hours of this Friday morning in the company of his loved ones, closest friends, and loyal allies in the liberation movement. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell so as to get all our updates. Trained as a pharmacist, Gordhan is a battle-tested politician and activist with over 50 years of experience. Following South Africa's democratic transition in 1994, he held high-level posts in the government until joining the South African Revenue Services, SARS, in 1998. Trevor Manuel was replaced as Minister of Finance by Gord Hahn, who was nominated by former President Jacob Zuma in May 2009. From 2009 to 2014, when Lan Lanene took over, he held that role. In 2015, after the short-lived and catastrophic Des Van Ruyen appointment, Zuma grudgingly reappointed Gord Hahn. In addition, he held the positions of Minister of Public Enterprises from February 2018 until his retirement and Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs from 2014 to 2015. Once more, Western Cape Police made a noteworthy breakthrough, seizing counterfeit booze worth over our 600, 000, and apprehending a foreign person, 39, in the process. The unlawful booze was found during an operation intended to stop the illegal sale of counterfeit products in the province. It was identified as Wellington VO Brandy, Best Original Whiskey, Highland Giant Whiskey, and Emperor Vodka. After a thorough investigation by law enforcement, who had been monitoring questionable activity connected to the manufacture and sale of counterfeit alcoholic drinks, the operation was carried out. At a secret location in the Western Cape, the suspect was discovered in possession of significant amounts of counterfeit whiskey, ready to be sold to unwary customers. Captain Frederick Van Wyck, a spokesman for the police, said that the operation was a part of an ongoing effort to combat counterfeit goods that are flooding the market and endangering the health of customers. Public safety is at risk from counterfeit alcohol, in addition to the financial harm it does to respectable companies. According to Van Wyck, Many of these products contain dangerous ingredients that can result in serious illness or even death. According to reports, the counterfeit liquor was packed to closely mimic well-known and respectable alcohol brands, making it difficult for the typical customer to tell the difference between the real and counterfeit goods. The suspect, according to the police, was a member of a larger criminal ring that produced and distributed counterfeit items across the province. Authorities are recommending people to purchase alcohol from only reliable sellers and cautioning them to exercise caution while doing so. The risks connected to fake alcohol must be made known to the general population. Always look out for evidence of manipulation and only buy from reliable vendors, said Van Wyck. The suspect may also have violated health and liquor laws in South Africa. Charges pertaining to the production and sale of counterfeit products are anticipated. In order to ascertain the whole extent of the activity and if additional people are engaged in this illegal commerce, the police are carrying out their investigation. The complex political environment in South Africa has led to an increase in confrontation between different political forces. Amkanta Wiseswe MK, the African Public Congress's ANC tactical branch during the fight against officially sanctioned racial segregation, is presently reassessing its position with the remaining political players. Despite the turmoil and suffering brought on by protracted periods of economic hardship and political instability, MK has made it known that it does not see the monetary political dissidents, EFF, as its enemies. It considers the ANC and the popularity-based coalition DA to be its true enemies in the continuous fight for equality and fairness, all other things being equal. When Amkanta Wiseswe was first organized in 1961, it was against the brutal and officially sanctioned system of ethnic segregation. The legacy of suffering and conflict is ingrained in MK's character and dramatically shapes his viewpoint on modern political concerns. Long periods of resistance have plagued the country, and many South Africans still carry deep scars from these experiences. Understanding this background is crucial to understanding MK's present position on the EFF a political party that was established in reaction to the country's ongoing financial inequality. There has been a noticeable tilt toward the center in the most recent justifications offered by the MK authority. The leaders of MK are stressing the need